Baker has written another trade at the top of the 2016 NFL Draft. The Cleveland Browns have traded the second pick to the Philadelphia Eagles. They basically held a sign up outside the facility telling people that they wanted to trade the number two pick. They have so many possibilities. Excited about our trade yesterday. They have six in the top 100 that's tied to the Tennessee Titans for the most. The trade was about us getting better and seeing an opportunity for us to continue to improve our football team. What if I told you the Cleveland Browns would trade again? Uh, maybe they will. I mean, they're, they're sitting at eight here as we're alive on path to the draft with Aditi Kinkabwala in Berea. They're eight, Aditi. Does anyone actually think they're picking eight tonight? Well, Andrew, the phones are ringing right now upstairs, so someone thinks maybe they can talk them out of it. Now, they are answering the phone, but Sashi Brown just told me that someone would need to knock his socks off and his socks are still on. So now look, we know this team is not afraid to move. They made that trade out of the second slot because they deemed the possible chance of maybe getting a franchise quarterback was not as great of a payoff as having many more picks. Brown reiterated that to me. He said that this is a franchise that needs to be remade. And he was very frank about it. He said that, look, with the way the NFL is right now, with parity being what it is, the players being what they are, no team should go 3-13. and 13. He said there is something definitely wrong with your process, if that's the case. So now, the eighth pick. He said that there are eight players that this team would be very, very happy with. Matt says that means they'll end up with one game breaker. And Andrew, look. This team has a lot of needs. They don't need to worry about being tugged off of their draft board if they stay there at eight. And good to know, Sashi Brown did wear socks today when he came to work on draft day. Thank you, Aditi Kinkabwala there live with the Cleveland Browns who are picking number eight. Danny Shelton had his moments last year. Cameron Irving did not, actually. Justin Gilbert, we know his story. Johnny Manziel doesn't even have a team right now. Barkevius Mingo has allegedly added 30 pounds in the offseason, so maybe the Mingo ate everything in your kitchen. These are the Browns' first-round draft picks since 2011. Charlie Casserly, Brian Baldinger. Uh, there's not a lot of good on that list. Charlie, you could trade down. You could make a great trade, which many people do believe, trading out of two, they got a good value. But yeah. eventually you have to pick players, don't you? You do. And, and I, I, think, I think we need to give Cleveland a chance. Okay, Let, Let's go see the plan in action as opposed to criticize the plan. We don't know what the plan is. My perception of the plan is this. I don't think they're throwing away this draft. I don't think they're just trying to, you know, they're going to trade until they can get the world record for drafting and getting picks. No, I think they're at a point now where it was said there, hey, they're going to have to have a big time deal to move. I think they know they need playmakers. They know they need building blocks. I think they like to get picks. But hey, don't get a lot of fourths and fifths. And I think that's going to be flopping. If we can get quality picks, then we're going to move. So here's the fascinating what if. Ezekiel Elliott's at eight. Mm -hmm. The Miami Dolphins, trader Mike Tannenbaum, famous for trading up, comes to him and says, I'll give you a second round pick and a one to move up. Now that one you got to think no, about. That, that, that one you, you absolutely think about. do, don't you? Okay. Well, here's the other half of it here. When you get to where it might pick it, I think 13, the quality of player might be a lot different. So you'd be into the building mode and say we're just going to keep building. One thing about Ezekiel Elliott, the, the guy is a star. Hugh Jackson, he wants to run the football. That helps the whole team. But the other thing is sometimes you have to take a player to sell the program and the plan to everybody. Hey, these guys know what they're doing. Then you go draft your other players. Sometimes you have to do that. This organization, they have to, they just need stability for right now. And with that stability, they've got to get the draft right. We just showed all the mistakes that they have made over the last three years. So they've got to get it right. And whether Sashi Brown and Hugh Jackson right now has said basically that these aren't franchise quarterbacks. We're going to get out of here. Or if they are, we're not ready to gamble that they are. And that's kind of what they've said, which is, which is smart. They can't take that gamble. They've gotten it wrong too many other times. So now let's, let's get back. But let's start getting some quality players. Let's get this right. Let's, let's make sure that three years from now we don't have all those players that we just saw in red and shipped off or out of the league right now. And that's where they're at right now. They've got a really – their evaluation of players – has got to be right. And I think everyone in that building is sick of the, uh, the cynicism. I think everyone here is sick of the cynicism as well. It's a good trade on paper. Now it's time to get these picks right, as both of you said, and hopefully that starts tonight. 
for the people in Cleveland as they are picking number eight, at least for now. Ahead of them, though, two picks ahead of them are the Baltimore Ravens, who last year took Rashad Perryman, the wide receiver at number 26, and he never got on the field after an August injury. So in essence, Eric DaCosta, Ozzie Newsom have kind of two first-round picks this year. If you